this later on so that you will not ask me questions, Mr. Orven, what we are going to do with the assignment. We do not understand. Okay, then I will just tell you, please watch the video. I uploaded this on your Moodle. Okay. So this is the purpose of the recording. What is your assignment? Your assignment is this, a compilation of the different questions, okay, and choices, and what are the answers to those questions, okay? So each slides or PowerPoint will have review questions at the end, uh, sometimes 10, sometimes 15, I don't know how many, okay? But for this lesson number one, there are just 10 questions. All you're, go you're going to do is to copy all these questions on a Word file, okay? Here, copy and paste, ladies and gentlemen. It's not very difficult. All you just need to do after that is format a little bit, okay? And then just highlight the answer, for example, number one, the ability for different people to use the same computer is mis made possible through letter C, user account. So you can either use this uh, highlighter here. Okay, here. Okay, so that's it. Number two. Which of the following is the collection of stored settings that ensure your customizations are in effect whenever you log on? A, your user profile. So we will discuss the answers to the question at the end of the lecture, okay, so that you have the answers. And what we're going to do is just to compile it in a one Microsoft Word. Answers to review questions. This is the title of your assignments. Module A, Computing Fundamentals. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. So one word file is needed. Okay. One word file is needed as a requirement for you to do the exam. Aside from the three screenshots, this is an assignment that you're going to do. There are two purposes of this, okay, objective of this. First is as a requirement, as an assignment. Second is that so before you have your exam, you have another reviewer, okay? So I will give you a review module, the PowerPoint review module. Remember that we give that in module B. I'm going to give you for module A also. And aside from that, you have this question and answer with the answers, okay? Sometimes, some of these questions appear on the exams. I don't know how many, but how many questions will we have in computer um, computing fundamentals, module A? Around maybe 80 to 90 questions. So just if you browse that and try to remember the questions and the essence of the question and the answer. If it comes out of the exam, then you will get that at least five questions. Maybe huh? I'm just guessing. I'm not really sure, but there is a big probability that these questions, okay, comes out of the exam. Not all, of course, not all. Okay, I'm just saying that there are probabilities. Okay, is that uh, clear? So let's proceed. So you know already number one, the ability for different people to use the same computer. Uh, wait. Okay, the ability for different people to use the same computer is made possible through user accounts. Number one. Number two, which of the following is the collection of stored settings that ensure your customizations are in effect whenever you log on? User profile. Letter A. Okay. So that we will have another place. You will see where the answers are.
one is C, two is A. Number three. Kelly has several documents open on her laptop and is working con concurrently in each one. So you have a laptop he or she is using. Now she's leaving for several hours to attend an off-site social function, but will return to her documents later in the day. Which option below would save the most power and still ensure that she can pick up right where she left off? Okay, she will be leaving. She wants to use the same thing on the computer when she comes back. Again, there are two options, sleep or hibernate. But the question here is which one would save the most power? Remember, sleep will just turn off the monitor and the fan, okay, not the whole computer. If you put it on hibernate, he will really shut it down. That means he will not consume any electricity or power, okay. Therefore, uh, hibernating is the correct answer, letter A, okay. So letter A. Okay, number four, from which of the following areas in Windows 10 can you access desktop customization, customization settings? You can access that to settings or the control panel letter D because the settings is not on the choices. D control panel is the correct answer, number four. Number five, which of the following Windows dialog box features allows you to select several options? Yes, I've shown you that, the check boxes, letter C. So number five is letter C. Okay, number six, which of the following is an example of a global setting on a Windows system? Global. Any, any, uh, any volunteer to answer this? I already mentioned what is a global settings. It will affect the computer, who, who, whoever uses the computer. Is it desktop background picture? If I have a dark background picture and you log into the computer with your account, can you see that picture? I think no, same as the screen resolution. Is it global or profile specific? How about accent color? How about screen saver? Any volunteer who wants to answer number six? Anybody? Am I still talking to anybody here? Okay, no more. Number six is letter C. Okay, global, it will affect the other users on the computer. So the answer is screen resolution. I just mentioned that, that if I change the resolution of this computer, if you log into my computer with your own account, still the screen resolution will be the same. Okay, if you change it and you have an administration account, administrator account, and it was changed, if I log in again to the computer, whatever you did, I will also see it. Okay, so that's what we meant by global. Number seven. Which mobile operating system feature helps you avoid accidentally placing a call or taking a picture so you have a mobile phone and act to avoid accidentally placing a call calling somebody or taking a picture which of the following is the answer to that anybody next time i'm really going to call one by one huh? Whenever I call, you will answer. 
Even if it is wrong, it doesn't matter. Let's try. Salma Sharaji. Salma, are you there? Yes. Yes. Can you see the PowerPoint right now, number seven? Yes. Can you read and can you answer? Which model of rotation system feature helps you avoid accidentally play, play, placing a call or talking picture? Mm -hmm. Which mobile operating system feature helps you avoid? Avoid means you will not do it. Avoid means preventing you to do it. Accidentally placing a call or taking a picture. You don't want to take picture accidentally or to call. Which one of this feature helps you do that? B. B is pinch gesture. Are you familiar with pinch? Oh, D, D. D is in dog. Okay, as in dull. Okay, lock screen, that is correct. Thank you very much, Miss Salma. Do not be afraid if your answers are correct, it's fine. This is not graded. I just want you, I just want to hear your voices. Number eight, because it's really difficult to talk to names only. Okay, can you imagine what I'm seeing right now? I'm just talking to names and words and screen and like this. So from time to time, I want to call your name, Ms. Tasnim Alkindi. Number eight, please read. Uh, which of the follow, following is a function of the operating systems? Uh, yes. Uh, is uh, to control com communication and manage files? Yes. Very good. Can you see my face? Yes. Can you see my face and my finger? Very yes. good. Okay. To control communication and manage files. Huh. Very good. Okay. So what is the best way to shut down a computer? I will not ask this question anymore it's very simple click start power shut down then let the process complete okay so start and then shut down power this is the best way to turn off the computer what is a service pack a collection of software updates a form of spyware a power mode designed to provide emergency uh, the answer to this is number or letter A, a collection of software updates. So thank you very much to those who participated. Let me just complete my answers to this. Number seven, what is number seven? Letter D, number eight, letter C. Number nine, letter B, it's in boy, it's in baba. And number 10 is letter A. Okay, so that ends our lesson number one. Do you have any question? I'm going to stop the recording now.